Welcome to Oklahoma's premier real estate show, showcasing homes for sale every weekend, only on ABC, with host Gentry Johnson and special guest Lee Sherman from Han Appliance Warehouse. Get tips on which appliances can make your life a little easier. See over 30 homes for sale, from starter homes to entertainment palaces. We have all price ranges. Learn about appliances so you can make the right choice to meet your needs. Hear about local charities and other nonprofits that are making a difference in the lives of our community. If you are looking to buy a new home or just curious about what is out there, then you are in the right place. Sit back and relax. And thanks for watching Homescapes, Oklahoma's premier real estate show. Welcome to Homescapes. I'm your host, Gentry Johnson. Homescapes showcases a variety of homes on the market right now in the Tulsa area and our homes update every week. On today's show, we'll be visiting Han Appliance Warehouse and talking to our appliance expert, Lee Sherman, about the new technologies and features you can find in your home appliances. So get ready to find that dream home, learn a lot, and have some fun. Here we go. 8954 West 51st Street in Tulsa. Breathtaking luxury estate on five acres more or less and pond plus beautiful in-ground pool, covered patio, spa and outdoor kitchen, fireplace and smoker. Features include theater, exercise and hobby room, eight car garage and safe room. Family room opens a Granite Island kitchen with Gen Air appliances. Six bedrooms, six full and one half bath, Tulsa schools. Call Dana Emerson at 693-4134. 8051 South Fulton Avenue in Tulsa. Gorgeous large lot and home in Gated Hall and Lakes 2. Tons of light and space boasting 4,531 square feet. Grand entry with curved staircase, soaring ceiling, formal dining and living. Office off entry. Luxurious master suite with fireplace and sitting room. Gourmet kitchen opens to family room. Game room up. Decorative pond and wraparound deck. Four bedrooms, three and one half baths. Union schools. Call Paul Wheeler at 665-8559. 10544 South 68 East Place in Tulsa. Beautiful home nestled in among mature trees and lush landscaping with backyard paradise and new built-in pool. Family room has soaring ceilings, catwalk, and fireplace. Granite Island Kitchen has stainless appliances, pantry, and breakfast bar. New HVAC. Four bedrooms, three full and one half bath. Jinx schools. Call Paul Wheeler at 665-8559. Hi there, I am excited to be joined by Debbie Russell with AMC The Mortgage Company and she's gonna be helping us out with our mortgage tip. Thanks for being here, Debbie. Well, oh, thank you. So as a nation, we've become obsessed with credit scores, but there are really a lot of other things that they take into account when it comes to getting a mortgage loan, right? Yes. We look at their income, we look at their assets, we look at their job stability, and we look at the collateral, the property information. So years ago, a credit score was something that was locked away in a bank. We couldn't even get a hold of it, but now you can even go online and get them for free. Is the credit score that I get online for free gonna be the same thing? I thought you might say that. Is it gonna be the same thing that pops up when I come to see you? No, a mortgage credit report's different. Mm -hmm. We have our own systems that we use, and we go with the middle score between TransUnion, Equifax, or Experian. Okay. And if we have two borrowers, we're gonna use the lower of the two borrowers or three borrowers, however many. So the fun part about talking to Debbie is that she's been with AMC since 1999. She has lots of experience and she's basically an expert in an industry that continues to evolve and it's really, really unique. So I'd like to hear some examples of things that people have done wrong that have kept them from getting their loan approved. Well, one of the biggest things is they've gone out and got a major purchase right before they're gonna buy a home, mm -hmm. or they've listened to coworkers or friends who's told them to go pay off all their debt, which we really need the money, and they can afford the debt. Right. They, uh, right after the holidays, they've charged up all their revolving cards to where they're maxed out, and mm -hmm. if you have a revolving card and it's maxed, if you have a $2,000 limit and they charge it to $1,900, mm -hmm. it's going to drop their credit score. We'll tell them what to do if they'll let us know. Another thing they've done, they've changed jobs and gone into a different type of profession or right in the middle of the process, they might want to change jobs. It's not a good idea to do that. All right, Debbie, I want to learn a little bit more about you. Tell me what your favorite part is about living in Tulsa. I just, I've, I was born here and 
I have six brothers. There's six. There's six of us in my family, and uh -huh. have all these grandkids, and my kids all live here, and I couldn't live anyplace else. If you have any more questions for Debbie, you can always give her a shout at 918-488-6324 is my office number. My cell phone is 918-605-0228, and I get calls all week, and I love to hear from you. Or you can always go online to amcmtg.com. Debbie, thanks for being here. Thank you. Now it's time to see homes 200 to 400,000. In 2539 South 71st East Avenue in Bixby, gorgeous stucco and stone new construction in Seven Lakes with neighborhood pool. Covered patio backs to trail and greenbelt. Grand entry opens to beautiful hardwoods, French doors lead to office, and beautiful staircase. Three living areas, family room has stone fireplace, flanked by built-ins, and opens to Granite Island Kitchen with stainless and informal dining. Four bedrooms, three plus baths, Bixby Schools. Call Tiffany Martin at 852-2326. 8968 Highland Drive in Broken Arrow. Spectacular home in Rolling Meadows Estates on one acre with circular drive and beautiful wraparound back porch. Two-story entry has circular staircase and opens to formal living and dining. Family room with hardwoods has brick fireplace flanked by built-ins. Gourmet Granite Island Kitchen has stainless and dining. Split plan, five bedrooms, three plus baths, plus floored attic. Broken Arrow Schools. Call Trish Allison Teams at 260-7653. 9321 South 76 East Avenue in Tulsa. Gorgeous custom home and gated Ashton Hollow Villas with amazing outdoor kitchen, fireplace, and living space with green belt views. Great room has hardwoods and elegant fireplace, open to top of the line Granite Island kitchen with breakfast bar and informal dining. Beautiful family room has curved wall of windows. Master suite has sitting area. Four bedrooms, three full baths, Jinx schools. Call Team Slump Owens at 260-3735. Today, Lee and I are going to talk to you about how to shop for new laundry. Well, Gentry, here's our basic model. It's the tub. All you need to do is provide your own rock and uh, beat the clothes clean. Mm-hmm. I'm going to need something a little more innovative than this, I think. But, but see, really, all you need to wash clothes is flex the fabric, force detergent-laden water through the fabric, right. and then the water suspends it and flushes it down the drain. That's all you need. Okay. Well, what about this beauty right here? Oh, well, if you want an upgrade, this is the top-of-the-line Maytag. You've got your tub built-in agitator. Oh. And when you're through washing, you've got a ringer to wring the water out so you can hang them up on the line to dry. Uh-huh. That's very fancy, Lee. And I heard you say something about top-of-the-line. Top-of-the-line when? Oh, about 75 years ago. <laughs> exactly. See, it's clear that laundry has changed a lot in the last 100 years. But what's amazing is how much it can change in only 10 years. And 10 years is the average age of a washer. So, Lee, it's been 10 years since I bought a washing machine. I need a new one. What do I need to think about? Well, you need to think about your household requirements mm -hmm. because everybody has different needs. Oh, and measurements because laundry rooms are different sizes. So take some measurements so you can make sure that the pair you pick out will fit in there. Absolutely. Measure and take pictures. Oh, and measure door openings and measure how far the washer sticks out from the wall so we can make sure everything fits properly. Right, and these measurements are so important. I know you make lots of deliveries just in a week where you get to the house and the washer and dryer doesn't fit exactly like they thought it would. The customer has to come back in the store, maybe pick out another product. It's a huge inconvenience for everybody involved. It has been. Oh, and it's probably been 10 years since anybody's turned the faucet on or off behind the washing machine. So. Make sure you can turn it off and it doesn't leak. If it does leak, you're going to have to get a plumber to come out and change it. So you really should do that before we deliver the washer and dryer. Make sure that everything is more convenient. Right. And what about do you have a gas or electric dryer? Some places have both and some only have one or the other. And Lee, speaking of one or the other, let's talk about the new front load. <laughs> It's funny you say new front load because front loads have been around since the first automatic washer came out. So why are they just now becoming more popular? Well, front load washers have always been the best way to wash clothes. Uh -huh. They're more energy efficient, they hold more clothes, they're more gentle on the clothes, but they're a little more expensive. But 
they're much more efficient, so you're going to more than make up the cost difference in the first five years. Yeah, and you know, we had that segment that was all about efficiency, and we actually learned that the front load saves 20 to 40 gallons per load. And like Lee said, they're more gentle on your clothes. That's right, and the capacity. Why, most people use big towels now, and you can only get six or eight towels in a load. With the front load, you can double the capacity. Some people are doing 20 loads of laundry a week. You can cut it in half with a front load. So I have to ask then, why doesn't everybody just buy a front load? Well, they are a little bit bigger, so you've got to measure your laundry room to make sure that they'll fit, and they're still a little more expensive. And let's talk about the pedestals. Oh, the pedestals, they're just a convenience feature. They get the washer and dryer up at a little more convenient height, but you've got to measure. Again, I think Lee's trying to tell us that we definitely need to measure. Well, let's recap, go to the store, and see some of our other options. Great, let's go. So here we are in the laundry. Han has 250 washers and dryers on display for you to check out. Lee, we're going to talk a little bit about the front load washing machine. Some stuff that we read on the internet, some concern that we hear about is... The odor. Exactly. Let's talk about it. Okay. Well, you know, used to, and, and a lot of the comments you see on the internet are about old washers and dryers because mm -hmm. on all of the new ones, they have gone to an antibacterial boot. And the antibacterial boot does not allow any mold or odor to develop. Now, it's still a good idea once in a while to take a rag with a little bleach on it and wipe it off. Right. But this is going to eliminate half of the odor issues you have. It just can't build up from there. Okay, so what are some other options we can do? You said that's going to eliminate half. What's going to get right. the other 50%? The other half, on a washing machine, you've got an inner and an outer tub. Uh -huh. Well, the inner tub is cleaned by the clothes, but the outer tub, nothing touches. So what you need to do once a month is you buy a tablet. It's available here or at any of the grocery stores, and it's a cleaning tablet for a front load washer. You simply drop the tablet in here. It has an enzyme that breaks down the buildup on the outer tub. If you use it once a month, you'll never, ever have an odor problem. And it really is that simple. If you take care of it from the very beginning, you're never going to have an issue with it. And tell your car example. I like that I, one. You know, it's like a car. You go down and you buy the car that you've always wanted, but you got to change the oil. That's right. You're not going to wait for the engine to drop out before you start doing something to it, right? A little pre-maintenance is all you need. Makes perfect sense. So let's go back and talk a little bit about cost because we used, we said that on average that most of your top loads are going to be cheaper than your front loads. But right here we see one for $17.99 and you've got a set right there for $13.99 of the front loads. So this is high energy efficient. That's why it's higher, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's the deal here? Let's okay. talk about it. On front load, it's simply that front load, the very basic models, have a little lower price point to start with. But when you get into the high efficiency top loads, they're going to be more expensive than most of the high efficiency front load. So when, when we talk about the top loads being a little less expensive, it's only on the entry models. Okay, and we call this one high efficiency, but it's still not going to save you the 20 to 40 gallons of water per load that we're talking about with the front load, that's, right? That's absolutely right. No in energy efficiency top load is as energy efficient as a front load. Plus, the front load comes in all the fun colors, and they're also the only ones that come with the pedestals as well that save you some room, right? That's right. Okay, so we hope we've given you a little bit of guidance for the next time that you're shopping for your next washer and dryer. To see our entire series on how to shop, make sure you visit Han Appliance Warehouse's website, hanappliance.com. Just tuning in? Be sure to check out our website, homescapesok.com. You can watch this show and all our past shows. 7301 South 284th East Avenue in Broken Arrow. Elegant home on .91 acre in Woodland Hills with professional landscaping and mature trees, covered patio, outdoor entertainment area, built-in pool, and gazebo. Grand entry opens to beautiful hardwoods and formal dining, open to exquisite office. Family room has fabulous custom fireplace. Grand Island Kitchen has stainless, rich wood cabinets, and dining. Four bedrooms, three full and one half bath. Call Alicia Parker at 493-3333. 18173 East 79th Street North in Owasso. Gorgeous home with country feel and quiet neighborhood with spectacular back patio and spa. Spacious open plan. Family room has stone fireplace and hardwoods, opens to granite kitchen with nook and patio access. Game room up. Three bedrooms, two full and one half bath, Owasso Schools. Call Paul Wheeler at 665-8559.
9395 West 580 Road in Inola. Country living in this beautiful custom brick and stone on 2.5 acres of a park-like setting with gazebo and garden only 25 minutes from Tulsa, including two large barns, safe room, RV storage, and chicken house. Vaulted Great Room has corner brick fireplace, dining, and gourmet Granite Island kitchen. Three bedrooms, two full baths, Shoto Maisie Schools. Call Janine Kosh Stouffer at 812-8232. 3809 West Utica Street in Broken Arrow. Beautiful new construction with high-end finishes in the villages at Birchwood, pergola over patio, and privacy fence. Spacious Living has hardwoods and two-sided stone fireplace open to dining. Granite Island Kitchen has stainless, custom backsplash, and shared fireplace. Five bedrooms, loft and game room up, three full baths, Broken Arrow Schools. Call Cody Addington at 557-3779. 4603 South 189th East Avenue in Tulsa. Beautiful home in Stone Creek Farms with covered patio looking out over pond. Spacious family room with coffered ceiling, gleaming hardwoods, and fireplace adjoins to dining. Kitchen with hardwoods has tile backsplash, pantry, and informal dining. Upstairs has big game room. Five bedrooms, two full and one half bath, Broken Arrow Schools. Call Paul Wheeler at 665-8559. Let's take a look at the 2015 Honda Accord, one of the best selling and most awarded vehicles in history. That's right, the Accord has been named Car and Driver's 10 Best Award again and has been awarded Kelly Blue Book's Best Buy Award for 2015. The 2015 Accord continues a long history of success in America and is the most capable, efficient, and technologically advanced Accord yet. And it looks good too. The exterior of the Accord is both sporty and sophisticated, and it comes in a variety of trim levels, making it the perfect choice for you specifically. Honda knows people want and need a safe car, and they are dedicated to developing and implementing state-of-the-art safety features designed to keep everyone safe. Every Accord sold features a rear view camera, and the EXL models and up have a multi-angle rear view camera that offer wide angle and overhead views. The interior is filled with many safety features, including dual stage airbags, vented side airbags, child safety, lane departure, forward collision warnings, and more. When you get into the Honda Accord, you might think you were in a high-end luxury brand. The fact is, the car looks, feels, and drives like one. The 2015 Accord has two engine options, a 185 HP four-cylinder or a 278 HP six-cylinder. And both come with Honda's Earth Dreams technology, making efficiency a top priority. Stop by and see Sammy and his team. They have plenty of Accords for you to test drive and can go over all the details we didn't have time for today. I hope you're enjoying today's show. Remember, if you saw a home you liked, you can visit our website or be sure to contact a realtor. We are so excited to be at the Little Lighthouse right here in Tulsa to see all the incredible things this organization is doing for the special kids in our community. Let's go. All right, Jean, for someone who's never heard of the Little Lighthouse, tell us about this amazing place. Well, I've been told it's the happiest place in the world, and I have to agree with that because I've been around for many years as part of the staff. Uh, we are a Christian developmental center providing services to children with special needs aged birth to six and their families, and it's all on a tuition-free basis. How does your school manage to stay tuition-free? How does that work? You know, from the very beginning, our founders said that we were going to walk by faith. And we serve a mighty God, and He has been faithful now for over four decades in providing all of our needs. We pray a lot, but then we also work hard. Our kids are inspirational, they're amazing, they're full of energy and joy and love. They laugh, they cry, they're creative, they make things up. That's why I get up every morning. I can't wait to get here. Just thinking I'm going to help them, but I, I go home blessed every day. So tell me about the team here that works with the children. We have a transdisciplinary team. Mm -hmm. We have a um, licensed therapist, a nurse on staff, certified teachers in special education. We have hundreds of volunteers um, all working together to support the development of these kids. After here, when I was a baby. Uh -huh. Yes, and what did you learn here? I learned all about following the rules, like this one. Following the rules. Because honor God has to yourself with particulars, but I'm good listening. Just the Christian influences around here and around my house have, have really had a big impact on me. I love a real lighthouse. <laughs>
for those who would like to help out the Little Lighthouse, just like you said, they can always swing by and drop by money or funds to help out. What are some other ways that people can get involved and help with the Little Lighthouse? Number one, they just need to learn about us and get who we educated. are. And they can go to our website, www.littlelighthouse.org. After they learn about us, you know, we actually have tours for the community. We have luncheons if they'd like to come and see what we do firsthand. We encourage right. that. We invite the community to come over, call us, stop by, whatever they want to do. We always need volunteers. We depend heavily on volunteers. And then, you know, they can always help financially. If they just want to send in a check or, right. you know, help us in some way, tell their organizations, you know, we have different civic groups and different clubs that support us. They do third-party fundraisers, is what we call them, and okay. that is very much appreciated. But we always need more, and with this expansion especially, we're going to have to hire more staff, which means more operating needs. Right, more grounds to cover. Mm -hmm. So if you can't give money, give time. If you can't give time, maybe you can give some money. Yeah, absolutely. We are so excited to be able to visit places like the Little Lighthouse to help you see all the incredible things they're doing for our community. If you'd like to volunteer or donate, you can go to our website, homescapesok.com, or the Little Lighthouse website, littlelighthouse.org. All right, now back to more homes for sale on the market. Eighty-seven zero one North 125th East Avenue in Owasso. Beautiful arch at entry welcomes you into this lovely, clean, and well-maintained home in Central Park 2, one of Owasso's nicest and well-established neighborhoods. This single story has split plan with large master suite. Features include two living areas, each with their own fireplace, three bedrooms, two full baths, Owasso schools. Call Scott Rathbone at 284-1089. 1819 Oak Knoll Drive in Sperry. Cozy log cabin style home on one acre more or less in Osage Oaks with two car garage, covered front porch, large yard, and backyard shop. Spacious living opens to dining and kitchen area with breakfast bar, three bedrooms, two remodeled baths, fourth possible bedroom or family room, Sperry Schools. Call Scott Rathbone at 284-1089. One hundred seven twelve North 153rd East Avenue in Owasso. Beautiful custom landscaped entrance to this lovely home in Lake Valley. Open floor plan provides vaulted family room with beautiful wood laminated floors. Arch door leads to granite kitchen with stainless, pantry, tile floor, plus informal dining area. Four bedrooms, two full baths, Owasso schools. Call Bob Haywood at 272-7272. One sixteen zero five North 108th East Avenue in Collinsville. Beautiful home in Country Estates 3 with professional landscaping, privacy fence, covered back patio, and storage shed. Vaulted living with fireplace and above catwalk opens to dining and kitchen. Four bedrooms, office, and two and a half baths, Owasso Schools. Call Scott Rathbone at 284-1089. 5321 South 76 East Avenue in Tulsa. Great neighborhood, super location, and beautiful landscape backyard with large patios. This spacious home has formal living and dining. Family room has fireplace, bookcases, and patio access. Sunny kitchen with brick arch over cooktop, newer HVAC and roof, 10 by 12 shed and workbench. Four bedrooms, two full and one half bath, Tulsa schools. Call Paul Wheeler at 665-8559. 11049 North 147th East Avenue in Owasso. Lovely home in Lake Valley, one of Owasso's most sought after neighborhoods, close to pool and park with covered patio and privacy fence. Features include open concept with vaulted ceiling. Kitchen has granite counters, pantry, and informal dining area. 100% USDA financing available. A must see. Three bedrooms, two full baths, Owasso schools. Call Scott Rathbone at 284-1089. The new 2016 Acura MDX. This is a luxurious crossover designed for both the driver and passenger. The MDX is beautiful inside and out, as you'd expect from Acura. Complete with leather seats, GPS, rear DVD, and third row seating. It's climate controlled in three separate zones, making every passenger comfortable from the front to the back. The MDX comes with an available super handling all wheel drive system, which applies power to the wheel or wheels that need it most. 
and it features an all-new 9-speed automatic push-drive transmission with the option to enjoy the ride or take full control with the paddle shifters. The MDX delivers 290 horsepower from its 3.5-liter V6 and is leader in its class in fuel efficiency with 27 miles per gallon on the highway. Navigation with real-time traffic information, voice recognition features, USB iPod integration, music voice commands, rear entertainment system, Bluetooth hands-free link, text messaging, and email with Siri eyes free. Adaptive cruise control system which automatically adjusts your cruising speed for you and a system that steers you back into the lane if you find yourself drifting off course. It has a sophisticated braking system that helps you avoid a collision with the car in front of you and comes standard with a multi-view rear camera to give you the widest angle view of what's behind you. The list of features goes on and on and we don't have time to cover everything right here. Come visit Don Carlton Acura and speak to a friendly sales associate for the full download and to test drive the 2016 Acura MDX for yourself. 8023 South 77th East Avenue. Lovely patio home in Rustic Meadows, a great location with community pool, HOA, $65 a month, and low utilities near shopping and restaurants. Home has newer heat and air, hot water tank, newer roof, laminate and tile, and vinyl windows. Formal Living has wood floors and stone fireplace, open to formal dining. Kitchen has breakfast bar, three bedrooms, two full baths, union schools. Call Cody Addington at 557-3779. 4690 South St. Louis Street in Tulsa. Wonderful bungalow minutes from Brookside in Bel Air Acres with covered front porch and two-car garage. Features include hardwood floors, remodeled bath, replaced windows, and bonus room. Family room combines with formal dining area. Three bedrooms, two full baths, Tulsa schools. Call Beth Ringel at 744-4581. Five hundred five West Maple Street in Collinsville. Lovely home in Collinsville OT on corner lot. Move in ready with new carpet, new granite and bath, and roof approximately five years old. Spacious living opens a kitchen with dining. Large backyard with privacy fence. Two bedrooms, one full and one half bath. Collinsville Schools. Call Scott Rathbone at two eight four ten eighty nine. Six Ten North Ninth Street in Collinsville, Charming Cottage in Goodells, a complete remodel in 2009 with updates including roof, siding, energy efficient doors and vinyl windows, HVAC, cabinets, appliances, flooring, and more. Formal living combines with dining. Kitchen has stainless and tile floor. Two bedrooms, two full baths. Collinsville Schools. Call Scott Rathbone at 284-1089. We'll see you next week right here on KTUL Tulsa's Channel 8.